it's Jess with Four Bougie Babies doing my first ever review of the Otteroo, which is proving to be a very divisive product amongst moms and dads everywhere. Um, when we first sent a picture of baby E wearing the Otteroo in a tub to our brother and sister-in-law, we immediately got a lot of shocked face emojis. Like, what are you putting your baby in? Um, but I've also had a lot of friends who immediately responded with comments and questions about this product. So I thought it would be a great one to go ahead and post a review of. This one is the larger size. So it's for babies nine to about 35 pounds. Um, and it is something that we have used both in our tub, our smaller tub as well, and then in pools. So we'll give you the review, we'll let you see baby's reaction, show you how to put it on, and ultimately hope that it helps you decide if this is something worth exploring for your littles. Let's take a look. So as you can see, the Otteru has a chin rest for your little's chin, and it has a hole that you can spread apart to slide the neck in, and then clasp on both the top and the bottom. And this is something you can blow up by yourself. I did it, I'm a petite woman easily. So don't worry about having to get an air pump or anything like that. But you do want to make sure that it's nice and full before you trust your little in it. Um, in our family, we always have two adults place baby E in it because it can be kind of tricky, especially if you're already over water. So we're going to do a nice and scene action while we put him into this and then show you his reaction in the tub. Okay, so as you can see, we've got him clasped in nice and tight, and we're going to go ahead and ease him into the water. I know that this is a good temperature. A lot of his opinion about it has um, been based on how high the water is and what the temperature's like. So we've had times where he's loved this and times where he hasn't. So let's see what he thinks this time. What do you think, bud? What do you think? Oh, there we go. We've got a swimmer. Uh, for context, our baby is currently almost seven months old. He's about a week shy of turning seven months old. And he is just at about 18 pounds. Um, so if you're comparing him to your own little baby, that's where he's at right now. When he was smaller, he had more room to kind of twist and turn around and really seem to enjoy that. Now, in our tub, his feet can touch the ground, not that he can stand or anything like that on his own. Um, we would never, ever walk away from him or not have two hands firmly on him um, if he were in a pool with this. So just be aware that that is not something that anyone should do, um, and we certainly do not. But in a tub, I don't always feel like I have to send it, it with him because we keep at least two, if not four eyes on him at all times. What do you think, bud? What do you think? Oh, there's some smiles for the Otteroo. There you go. Kicking, 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 kicking. Are you a happy fish? Something that I will say is that this is pretty good for bath time. Obviously, we want to keep him uh, very modest and not show his junk. That's not something anybody needs to see. Um, but when we're, we're doing baths, it is pretty easy to wash the bottom two-thirds of him. It does make it kind of tricky to clean his neck, which, as you guys may know, baby folds are the hardest thing to clean, especially around the neck. Um, and cleaning his hair. Something you want to be mindful of if you are using this for bath time is that if you're using this uh, and trying to pour out water to get hair out of, or to get stuff out of his hair, rather, this may not drain completely. So you need to be washing to make sure the water isn't kind of funneling into his mouth, um, his or her mouth. So that is one thing to note. As you can see, baby seems to be loving it today. So as you can imagine, there were tears had after our last take. I got very wet 
we put baby boy to sleep and I changed outfits. And here we are, ready for our first set of reviews. So in the vibe category for Otteru, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four out of five. So again, it's very divisive, but watching your baby when they do love it just lifts your soul a little bit. So that's why I give it a four instead of a three. In the value category, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a three out of five. Is it worth it? Meh. I think it retails for about $40. I'm pretty sure that we ended up paying around $32 for it um, because it's typically on sale. That isn't cheap, but it doesn't break the bank in most cases. So for the novelty of it, I'll say it's middle of the road. In terms of what it does for you, it doesn't necessarily make bath time easier. It doesn't keep you from having to hold baby the whole time in the pool. So either way, you're being attentive, you're holding the baby. It's not saving you any steps. It's just really cute. In terms of the, for the love of the babies category, our son likes it a lot of the time but not every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four out of five um, because when he loves it, he really loves it. In the girlfriend test category, I'll also give it a four out of five. So for the novelty of it, for the cuteness factor, I would recommend it to my girlfriends, but I would tell them that they certainly shouldn't buy it if it's not on sale. And most likely I would just offer them mine to borrow to see if they, if they liked it. I think that by now enough families have probably bought it that you could find it pretty easily for resale on a local Facebook moms group. So that would really be my first recommendation for how to purchase it. Um, but again, it is pretty cute. So if you want to get it for your little to try it out, I think that it would be a great thing to explore. Um, just to be mindful, you do have to have at least two eyes on baby at all times, if not two hands, um, because it, it is not guaranteed to save them in an emergency situation. And we don't want our littles to drown. So. Overall, we give it a 7.5 out of 10. Do with that information what you will. I hope you've enjoyed our first review of the Otteru. Um, if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at 4FOR underscore bougie, B-O-U-J-E-E -E underscore bebes, B-E-B-E-S. Let me know what you thought. Do you agree with my review of the Otteru? Anything else that you'd like to see me review? I'm open for all feedback. Just leave me a comment. Thanks, this is Jess.